Hey tribe, hey, welcome back to my channel, Presence of a Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is just going to be a quick message for the tribe. I hope you guys are having a great day, great night, whenever you receive this message. This message is timeless. Saying you number love, peace, and blessings always. Anything else you need to know is down below in the description, such as bookings and donations. I appreciate you. Like, share, comment, whatever you feel got it to do. You know, it is what it is. All right. I don't know why I didn't have my stuff together when I before I even started this video, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, I prayed and everything, but I didn't get my cards in order. So that could be very significant. I'm also getting like you could be getting things in order that you you didn't have in order before. So yeah, spirit is definitely cleaning some things up, tying up loose ends in your life, helping you do that. Um, I'm also getting like somebody could be saying, um, somebody could be seeing something your way now. Um, they're like, oh, I understand what they were trying to say. So maybe somebody did not understand you and now they feel like they understand you um, pertaining to a situation. So let's see what it is, though. What it is, oh, what's up? Can I get a little love? Can I get a little, get a little love? And, mm, mm, I can back it up, up, up. What it is, it is. What it is. <laughs> okay, so what it is, oh, what's up? So... Maybe this could be somebody that you grew up with or you had some type of young love with. Um, they're maturing now. This could be like even five years ago. This person is like thinking about you now. They finally matured after five years or something. Five, two, three years. Um, okay. I'm also getting like somebody's noticing how, how you changed age-wise or maturity level they're like oh i remember when they was this immature and now they're not look at them acting mature and now look at them you know something like that somebody's definitely watching you grow and reminiscing about the times where you were young free and didn't give a fuck <laughs> y'all remember those days right <laughs> you just didn't give a damn okay but now you know you're older now you could have kids now you're just you're just getting your shit together now and it's like it's different things is hitting different things are hitting different for somebody who i don't know i guess didn't take it serious with you it doesn't have to be a relationship this could even be like a friend family like somebody who did not expect you to grow up and be you know somebody mature somebody who was growing you know you grew overnight it seems to them yeah somebody also feel like time is flying Time could be flying for you. You could be feeling like time is flying, but you're, you could be using your time productively or you're taking advantage of time. Time is an illusion, to be honest with you, but time management could be very significant. Um, <laughs> The light went off, so what's up with this? Okay, let's get into the tarot. But Spirit, like, come on. <laughs> Maybe Spirit got a lot to say to y'all. We're going to see what they got to say. What do you got, Spirit? Okay, somebody who was conniving. Or somebody feel like they can't trick you anymore. And they're getting upset about this. Yeah, you've been keeping your distance from someone. You've been keeping to yourself. Mm, somebody's paranoid about you keeping to yourself. Somebody could be paranoid that you are smelling the roses. Somebody could also be salty. I feel like these are two different energies, though. So while one is watching you, admiring you for your growth, there's another person watching you, salty as heck, because... They can't use you or something like that. Okay. So, yeah. Somebody could have long nails. Okay. Long nails could be significant. Date night. Move your body. Ooh. So, are you getting ready for a date? You could be getting ready for a date. You could be um, learning how to calm your energy. You could have a lot of anxiety. You could be using a diffuser, incense, okay? Social media. Okay, maybe these people watching you on social media. But first, let me take a selfie. Somebody could be watching you take selfies. Somebody used to take pictures for you misses you. This person who used to take pictures for you when you were a teenager. That's what I'm hearing. Teenage fever, okay? So somebody has teenage fever for you. Like somebody... They want to grow old with you now. Okay, so you about to get a, somebody about to hit you in the DMs or somebody's thinking about this. If it's not helping me grow or glow, then I'm letting it go. You could be letting things go. You could have colorful hair. 
okay? You're letting things go that don't know. Okay, so somebody knows that you're not tolerating BS or immaturity anymore. So, okay. Maybe somebody's a big kid. And we're all big kids at heart, right? But I guess I feel like this could be a sense of somebody, I guess somebody feels like y'all just on two different paths or they know that you guys are on diff different paths. I don't know. Maybe somebody's just like, they're still in their I don't give a F energy and you're like in your I'm trying to get my ish together energy, you know, this could even be like your success is so profound and it has this person kind of upset. I feel like they're not as successful as you or profound as you. Somebody could be a Sagittarius or a Cancer. Pay attention to your dreams. Are you been, you're seeing a lot of luck in your dreams. These people are having dreams about you being successful. And they've, yeah, somebody had a dream about you being successful and they're watching it before them, for, before their eyes. So maybe they're learning they have powerful gifts and they're realizing, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice about the situation, but for some of you guys, this person is being haunted by your success. Goes with that psychopath. Yeah, don't judge a situation by its cover. Somebody judge you before you could even bloom into a beautiful soul. This could have been someone who was like, um, they thought you weren't going to be nothing. They didn't really take you serious. Um, and like I said, this could have been in an era where you weren't even taking yourself serious. But when you started taking yourself serious, this is when you start growing. And I feel like um, that's what it is, you know. So somebody didn't expect you to become successful or to become in the energy that you're in now, a high vibrational energy. Um, yeah. A pool. You could have swim with this person or um, I don't know. That could be significant swimming. You have something I want. Maybe you have a picture where you're in a pool. They could be looking at that. They want your life. So somebody, so this crazy person wants the life that you're living okay and then this other person misses like chilling with you okay and vibing with you yeah stay for me somebody just wants you to stay with them they want they like can you stay immature for me okay i don't know what that's about because you a baddie or this person who is maturing because somebody's somebody's maturing they have matured they're like can you stay for me because you're a baddie and i like you i like what i see so somebody somebody realizing like you really grew up to be a beautiful person you know inside and out okay and i really feel like they feeling that okay Mm hmm you bring life to any situation or wisdom you you're you were always the wise child though so growing up i feel like you could have been like a wild child but in the same sense you always had some wisdom to you okay you were the sense of reason okay the common sense person in the friend group or the family group and i feel like um this had people and i feel like these people are realizing that, okay, maybe they didn't see that before. They didn't see how wise you were before because maybe they thought you were just effing around. Like you could have been saying some, some, some good shit here. Okay. And what's crazy is these could be the same people who came to you for advice, but you know how they, they could have been the type to ask you for advice and never follow it. They just want to see what you was going to say. So they never really took it serious, but now they realize and like, they was they was kind of smart. They they were a smart one in the in the friends group. They was the <laughs> yeah. I really feel like you are tapping into your inner body, into your inner confidence, into your divine feminine or divine masculine, whatever this you know whatever is you on. Um, you're tapping into that and you're realizing like I'm really that girl. Like when you started tapping into your full potential. That's when things started shaking for you. But you had to, you know, see your full potential. You had to go hard first before the universe can just give you stuff. Because they wanted to know, listen, are you are you down? You know, I also feel like there's a lover who wants to know, are you down? Because, like, they're down. They're ready. They're mature. They're like, listen, you know, I'm grown now. I'm grown, grown. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could be saying that, like, I'm grown, grown. But I feel like whoever this, you know, cuckoo person is who could be, like, stalking you that didn't mature maybe they feel some type of way maybe they feel like the attention you're getting or the success you're getting should be them but they don't want to 
work hard for it and it's like i also feel like this person could be like always in competition with you since you guys were kids or when you were like college high school whatever this is to you guys and they were always in competition with you and they just can't let it go they just can't let go of the competition they like i still have to be better than them so into you know till i'm on the line i have to be the best of the best you know instead of trying to work with you they want to work against you and I feel like you don't care. I don't know. <laughs> What's the end all and be all? Thank you, spirit. You gotta have luck coming in. Flexibility. It's time to get flexible. Maybe do some yoga. You about to your hands are gonna be very busy. You're gonna be very productive. I also feel like you're unlocking new skills. And I see a lot of luck coming your way here. Cause you are in control of your destiny. You're controlling this. You know, you unleash this. You unlock this, this blessings that's coming to you because you decided to pour your focus into your skills and you really tapped into it. You was like, what can I do to better myself? What can I, can I do to be more successful than yesterday? Like you're hungry for that. You're not sitting here waiting for a handout. You're hungry. You're going after it. And I feel like people see that. And they're like, oh, that's a badass. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because they see you hungry for it. They don't see you you know just sitting around like you really making things happen like for real and i feel like spirit is about to give you even more blessings um for this they're, they're going to make things easier for you or give you more opportunities um to even be more successful okay so it doesn't stop where you at you're going higher than this and i feel like a lot of people watching they're admired by that and you got people you know you know how it go who acts like a <laughs> it just be like that you know but don't join their circus period so i hope this resonated you guys love you